Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Now, I know you guys have heard us talking nonstop about Aaron Hernandez and mm -hmm. this whole Aaron Hernandez uncovered on oxygen. Well, if you guys watched the docuseries, I know you watched it, Charlamagne. Oh, I definitely did see it. Mm-hmm. All right, you can see that his lawyer, who also is openly gay, talked about the conversations that he had with Aaron Hernandez about his sexuality. I found it outrageous that the government would be trying to use someone's sexuality to prop up a case that they had no business bringing in the first place. Aaron and I talked about his sexuality. This man clearly was gay, acknowledged. Acknowledged the immense pain that it caused him. He also came out of a culture that was so negative about gay people that he exhibited some self-hatred. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I watched this special last night, and other than it, other, other than it being tragically entertaining, mm -hmm. I don't know the point of it. Well, I guess there was a lot of information that came out after his death, after his suicide, and a lot of things that we never saw before, a lot of information that was never uncovered. And I know it has a lot to do with playing in the NFL and well, the effects say, like, of that. And does it like does it help his family? Like, like he was trying to like I was I was confused too. Like why is it? It's an embarrassment to his family. Well, does, does, does he want his kids to see it? Like we now know him as a gay gang banging serial killer who played in the NFL and had CTE. I right. Well, there were a lot means. of rumors about what happened and why he committed suicide. So I guess they wanted to just reveal more information on the case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but forget the it's suicide. Different... Why did he kill somebody in the first place? Like, that's the thing. <laughs> he, killed, he killed somebody in the first place. He had a bunch of other run-ins with the law where he was Now, shooting. were they trying to say that it was because uh, Odin knew that he was gay? And there was, a, there was something I, like that that I was in really there. I really don't know. They I don't should, know. They, they showed a it's case. a lot of speculation. In college where he hurt somebody, he allegedly killed well, he killed the guy, Odin. Another time when he was hanging out a window shooting at somebody and he shot somebody and killed him. That's when he, cause remember he had went to trial after yeah, yeah. the Odin thing and he got found not guilty. I don't know what the purpose of this whole story was other than it was tragically entertaining. Hmm. That's it. All right. Well, again, that was on Oxygen. So you watched it. And he was a, a tight end. All right. Now let's talk about what happened. And by the way, I just came back from Puerto Rico, right? We did an event with Lottery.com, mm -hmm. Power to the People. It was a free event, actually, for all the residents of Puerto Rico. And one person I saw who was actually on my flight back was, was Black Thought from The Roots. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, they had a show at South by Southwest that got canceled due to a bomb threat. Mm. So I asked them what happened. I was like, I'm on my way to work. I just want to get information from you on what went down with this bomb threat. So from what he told me was they did arrest the person involved. His name is Trevor Weldon Ingram. And apparently the event was supposed to have 2,500 people. But of course, you know how they do. A lot more people RSVP'd. So it was kind of a first come, first serve. You get in, I think like 5,000 people RSVP'd. So I guess Trevor couldn't get in. So he decides to call in a bomb threat and say everybody that goes is going to die. There's a bomb wow. if you got in. So they had to cancel the show, which was very unfortunate for everybody involved. But for safety purposes, when something like that happens, Bud Light did say, okay, we're not going to have this show anymore. So I've done that once in my life. You called hey, in what? a bomb threat? Well, I was promoting a party and nobody was at my party and it was all at this other party. So you I, did it for the other party? Definitely. You're foul. I am. I am. Man. I was a grimy individual. You are foul. I am. I am. I was. But, you know, I guess you can never be too careful because there actually were bombs that went off in Austin. Three bombs in 10 days. You go to jail for that, too. You know that. Like, yes. I didn't time. actually make the phone call. Oh, now you didn't make the phone call. I didn't. Call. I didn't. One of my homeboys made the phone call, but I definitely masterminded the whole thing. This, was, this was a decade ago. All right. Well, I'm, I'm, better. An I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.